Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I do the audio on my videos to make it sound a lot better than a camera. Um, if you think I'm using a camera, I'm not. I'm actually using a mic now for my previous videos. Um, I got some recommendations. My sound quality wasn't that bad, so or wasn't that good, so I had to switch for something to something else, and I ended up getting the Yeti stereo mic by Blue. It's a USB mic that I plug straight in. And this is how I do it. Okay. So since I use a lot of video files in each project and I split it into multiple screens, I have a lot of audio. Um, so initially I go into GarageBand, <clears throat> record all the tracks. Let me get into GarageBand real quick. Um, record all the tracks in GarageBand. So you have an mp3 file that you can export to iTunes. And record the video at the same time. So you're recording the video and clicking record on GarageBand at the same time. So the problem after that is how are you going to get the audio from the mp3 to match up with the audio from the camera or the playing from the camera. So. Um, here's my file from this project, this video project. This is what it looks like. Um, these are just the tracks that I have during it. And I exported this to iTunes after I recorded each track with my mic. And so here's how you do it. Um, without even touching your mp3 yet, go to each video file, drag it down drag the next one down and try to sync up the first one with the second one like it is in the mp3 so play the mp3 on your iTunes and see where for instance the guitar starts so you can drag the guitar around wherever you need it to to make it match up here so if it needs to be here to sync it needs to be there and you just have to keep on playing the video until you get it right so after you get the first and second one synced up, and it's pretty easy after you get it done the first couple times, you'll get the hang of it. After you get it done the first couple times, or the first after you get the first and second one done, you move on to the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth one and however many you need, and it gets easier as you progress through it because you have more um, cues of where it needs to be at this time. After you get all of them matched up, you just go and simply drag your mp3 to your project file, mine is right here, um, and then you have to match up each sound. So you have to match up the camera audio with the mp3, and it's this is the most difficult part, but there's a pretty simple way to do it. You go up to your top video, here I need to unmute this one. Uh, drag this one up the peaks okay the secret is in the peaks to get you uh, a broad sense of where to start with this so if the peaks for this one start right here just go up and see where this one is and see this one is exactly where that one is so that's exactly where you want to put the the video to match up with the audio or in this case I would drag the audio to match up with the video because um, it's just easier to, instead of moving everything around again. So yeah, after you match up all the audio or all the video to the new MP3, you just mute your camera or your camera audio that's on your original track or put it down to zero and you're set. I mean it just plays your audio from your MP3 instead of your camera and it sounds a lot better. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, subscribe and like if you can. And uh, thanks a lot, bye.